I spend a lot of time coaching clients on how to get more engagement from their virtual audience. But what happens when somebody engages too much? That's right, the conversation dominator. Welcome to the David Goad Show. I was posed this question recently on a webinar. How do I stop that overly talkative person from keeping all the other voices from being heard in my meeting? Well, a couple of things to think about. First of all, if there's a higher ranking person in the meeting and they're the talkative one, sometimes you just have to let it ride and do nothing. But assuming a meeting of peers or colleagues where everyone's supposed to have a voice, maybe you're brainstorming, one of the things you can do to prevent someone from dominating is the way you set up the rules of engagement in the first place. Maybe establish a sociocratic rule that everyone's going to get to speak and I will call on your names by going down the participant list in the meeting. But let's say you've set that up and somebody still is abusing their time. You can feel it. They're going on and on, rambling. How do you interrupt in a polite way? Well, if we were all in person, sometimes the body language is enough. Just holding up a hand or, <clears throat> or shifting uh, can signal that person that it's time to wrap it up. But in a virtual meeting, it's a little bit harder. I'll still hold up my hand sometimes and they'll notice that visually, but you really have to just wait till they take a breath. And then start with their name in a very polite tone. Angela, Angela, that's usually enough to get them to pause for a moment and say, thank them for their contribution. Really like the great ideas. I just noticed that we're running low on time. Right, you mentioned the time. And would you be able to just quickly summarize for us what the takeaway should be? And give them one last chance to kind of wrap it up and land that plane. And then a very important step afterwards is, thank you so much for allowing me to jump in there and to interrupt you. Because when you go through those polite steps, everybody else in the meeting kind of feels like, okay, if I get interrupted later, it's okay. The host is doing it in a diplomatic and kind way. So that's my answer to the question. First of all, set up the rules of engagement so you don't have to worry about the problem. But when it does happen, interrupt them in a polite way, help them land that plane for the benefit of everyone else in the meeting to be able to share their voice. If you have a question about public speaking, virtual speaking, just put it in the comments associated with this video, and I'll be happy to do a show just for you. Thanks for watching.